Hey, orange one here. So we are sieging a imperial city, Diathma. Um, to be honest, I don't even know where this is on the map because uh, it's, I think it's somewhere in the northeast. I don't really know because I haven't really gone up here. Um, but we are sieging this. Um, we've sieged it down with some trebuchets. The wall's broken in two spots. They don't have any siege equipment currently built. So we have four siege equipment, two towers, a ram, and nearly six times as many uh, units as them. I think we're gonna win. You know, it's you know just a hunch. I think thing that uh, the odds are in our favor, as they say. You know, um, I mean to be honest, like because it's breached here, I don't know if they're even going to use the towers. Yeah, like it, it's not even giving me the option. To put the towers down now. I've got the trebuchets already on there. Okay, so we got yeah. That looks good to me. We got the Angar here. I'm just also trying to make a mental note of where these things are so I can kinda keep an eye on them as the uh the fire is raining down. Oh look at that, it's all like um lit up with the, the their lights. That's so cool. Yeah, um this is gonna be pretty brutal. I might see if I can actually aim the trebuchet and see if the game will uh, will work and let me do that this time. Because I tried to do that in a previous siege and it didn't... I'm honestly not sure what I would even fire at, to be honest. I'm just kind of curious. Um, I think I'm stuck. Hello? What's going on here? Oh, yeah, I think that there was some, like, stuck animation there. But let me on. There we go. So if I want to aim it at like that tower, and I do like so, how does that? How does that fly? How do we do? Way over. Oh, okay. Well, where's the ammo at? <laughs> So if I run over here, is that then reloaded? Or no, the thing, I don't know if it's actually in there. Oh, it looks like they're trying to place it in there now. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, yeah, it looks like we're in the walls, so maybe I should... I'm just going to fire one more. We'll go much lower this time. And I'm actually going to get going. Oh, I didn't do anything. Well, we are just storming in there. God. I almost want to redo that siege so I could be in there while this is actually happening. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to actually redo this. I'm sorry. It's, it's going to be a little bit kind of weird right now. I'm going to have to... Um... I mean, actually, I'll just wait for us to technically win, because it looks like we're pretty much there. Yeah. Okay, so we're done. I kind of want to, because it actually looks so cool, because I've done it before, um, I think in a previous siege, I kind of just want to show what it looks like. And let's just say that, uh, let's just say you're going to want to see it. It's pretty cool to be like storming the walls with just overwhelming numbers. I mean, it's not like save scumming, because we are, we're going to crush them anyways, like, no matter what I do. But instead of me, like, playing around on the uh, trebuchets, let's actually get in there. Trust me, it's gonna, it's uh, it's pretty sweet to be a part of this. And I think because these things are destroyed, the pathing's actually going to be better for us. Because I think it's the destructible environments and the pathing that the game bugs on. Oh my god, oh my god, did you see that? It was uh, quite the flaming Angar there. That sounds like a really bad insult. What a flaming Angar. Right. That These archers need to go. Can I get that guy? I can. Nice. Okay. And that one's down too. Sweet. Okay. See what I mean? Isn't this cool? And then these guys are like firing down on us. But we're still, like, we've got such overwhelming numbers that we're going to get in there. 
Uh, what's with the color there? It's like purple. Even though their walls are purple. Right? Aw, oh, come on. One orange one. You can do this. Ah, oh, no. He got taken out. Okay, it looks like we're in the walls. Let's, let's get in there now. We need to be careful and watch our back, so... Yeah, these guys are coming down. That's kind of cool. They, like, are, like, moving to, like, counter us. I think. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe they're just trying to run away. I'm not sure. That dude seems to be, like, moving in slow motion. I don't know why. Are we overloading the game's AI? Could it not handle this? As a distinct possibility. See, wasn't that so much more fun to actually rush in there like that? And actually be a part of taking the walls? I enjoyed that. I thought it was cool. Oh, look at these guys. They're, I think, yeah, they're trying to run away, but they're trapped on the walls. That's, that is a crying shame there, my man. Yeah, I think that given that we had six times their numbers, they really should have just surrendered the city at that point. You're not going to win. Like, there's no way. I don't care how good of walls you've got. You're not the, the Spartans. I mean, they're actually the, like, the Imperial people, so maybe they are the Spartans. I don't know. Maybe they're canonically the Spartans of this world. Um, yeah, I'll go with the Picked Wire, because their cavalry is so... Um, let's just say they're they're not great. So I've got uh, a Gigantor army right now that I am concerned about trying to maintain. Uh, we're going to go into the city, and hopefully that will alone will have restocked the units. <laughs> Because, I, like I said, Gigantor army, if you saw, like, all those units just dropped, like, uh, prisoners and units down. So, um, yeah, I think we should tr continue traveling with the army. Um, God, look how expensive the food, food is here. And actually, uh, yeah, pretty much everything is, is super expensive here. So I'm going to unload a lot of my goods here not all of them but a good amount i'm gonna keep the food though honestly because this place sure i could make money off of them selling them food um given this army size i think yeah we've only got 21 days worth of food as an army so uh if we want to take giga stack over here to that city and siege that down which i think is yeah, oh my gosh, look at us. We've taken over, like... This is going to be a problem. This faction is too powerful. Um, so there's some sort of... Yeah, so the, something weird happened. I don't know, like... I think I timed out on the uh, quest for here. Uh, so it says that I talked with her. I don't know. Um... <laughs> I'm such a procrastinator that it took us 10 years and we still haven't done anything. So, Arza goes told us about and get the next banner piece. I have no idea what this even is saying. Um, but it looks like there's this hideout and there's that hideout. So we gotta go over there anyways for the main quest. Um, let's just, you know, siege a major uh, settlement. Oh, also we should probably... Um, go to the kingdom to decide who gets the city. Oh, I could give it to, to me. <laughs> I'm gonna have so many cities, guys. Um, or I could make friends. I should make friends. I really should. Um, because then those people will join with me uh, when I make my own faction. Like, and as you can see, I already have plenty of money. Never hurts to make uh, some friends that are powerful, right? And pe people say it's good to have friends who are, are powerful, but Rodan, he says it's good to make friends who are powerful. That's just, you know, that's how much of a boss Rodan is. I mean, I'd like to think Rodan 
is just like the coolest dude ever. Like, you know, like um, the Deus Equis guy. Um, is that the name? Not Deus Equis. That's the, the beer, like the coolest man in the world or whatever. Right? Maybe it, maybe it is maybe it's that. You know the one the ads I'm talking about, right? Like where they're all going on about how cool he is and he's done all this crazy stuff. Yeah, we need to get we need to get some food. We'll we'll stop by Potamus and maybe they'll have some potatoes. I don't know. Oh, these are all the places I've cleared out previously, but at least we're getting recruits. That's probably a good thing, right? Uh what? Failed. Okay, so do I have, like, no main quest anymore? Is the main quest just, like, can I not do it anymore? <laughs> I, I don't know if I've broken the game. I may have broken the game, guys. I don't know. We may not be able to get our own faction. If we can't get our own faction, we'll, we'll continue to wreak havoc um, for the minor faction as, as like, a... A vassal. I really would like to start my own faction though. How weird. Um, Batanians have declared war against us. The Batanians, do they even have anything? Do they even have a castle? Like, how are they? How are they declaring war? How are they even still alive? Is my question. A dude is gonna get crushed. Oh man, I I'm not even gonna do the battle. How 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 did we lose so many people? They've been all like the militiamen. There have not been any of my units. It's just let's just say. Um. Yeah, I am concerned about the fact that we only have 34 days worth of food here. And we could go over to these other villages. I'm not going to raid them, but I might see about doing some trading. Um, and we could try and talk to caravans and stuff. Look at that. There's a ton of them there. Hello, boys. Any food there is, I will take all of it. Thank you. It is expensive grain. Man, there's actually a ton of lords right here. That makes sense. I mean, we have, I think, essentially gone to the point where we're just steamrolling in the game. God, there's so many of them. Um, yeah, I feel like the smart thing to do is to try and siege and sa siege kind of quick on- Oh, what the heck? Are you guys really this dumb? New car. Um, thank you for getting them all in one place for me. This is awesome. This is like literally um, so perfect. It, I kind of feel bad about it. I mean, literally, we got like all these stacks of 20 that I will never, ever catch with my stack of, what was it, nearly a thousand? But then all 300 of them get stuck in one battle for me to just come swoop in and crush all of them. Because I mean, a three to one ratio, I mean, I know I've got some noob units but these guys are on the run in their own country against the sorry people i think i need to join i who should i join though i don't know who i want to join and we could join the batonians <laughs> help them reclaim their land oh man and i kind of that kind of has some appeal to me just because it's got uh not irony but like they were the people that we crushed and kind of just deposed. They were actually doing very well before that. So we were kind of the you know the whole reason they got taken down a whole whole notch. Oh come on! I thought my infantry was gonna slow him down to the point where I could get him. Well, there is actually a decent amount of red right now. They're getting a fair amount of kills on this, but we are getting like just as many on them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was that was one of theirs, right? Could've been one of mine. <clears throat> but like I said, 
Oh, yep, that was definitely one of them. Uh, I mean, actually, it could have been one of ours. I don't know the names of my lords very well. It's kind of crazy that we've gotten to that point where I've got like... I think it's like maybe eight or nine lords and they're all following me. Like, my gosh, for damn. I, I think it's safe to say that we're in the late game. Which is like, you know, like how many people in real life got into the late game of war, war, uh, war band, right? <laughs> think about that. I think uh, Genghis Khan, he definitely was in the late game. Who else was in the late game? Oh man, I totally wasted that shot. This guy is... I really like that cape animation, it's really nice actually. I know, it's like I'm staring at some dude's cape while I'm trying to like shoot him. Like, man, I really, really like your cape, man. It's gonna look good on me. Maybe with some holes in it. <laughs> yeah, that... That was, that dude should really like me. Okay, we got a good amount of gold there, actually. I'm gonna let you all go. There's gonna be like 20 of you. Like I said, we're crushing them. So even letting them go, there's not really much to worry about. And the nice thing, the really, really nice thing is that, um... I think some of them will get kind of trapped in the city that we're sieging, and they're not going to be able to recruit anyone. So we'll be able to catch them again and get another relationship boost with them, and they'll like us even more. It'll be great. Because these guys are, um... Yeah, I think we could honestly like just like straight up siege this place down, which might not be the worst idea. And we do have a two to one ratio against them, but I think I'm I might wanna and I definitely wanna have like Ongars to Let's do Ongars. We'll go fire Ongars to counter their siege equipment and then we'll get like towers and stuff. I basically just want to suppress what's on their walls. They've actually already got things built, like a number of things built, so this is going to be an uphill battle, as they say. We'll just siege this down. It's going to take us a while to siege this down, though, so uh, you have to bear with my annoying commentary and bad jokes for a little while. Yeah, I, I honestly felt like that first battle was like the Ottomans, like just sieging Constantinople because we just sieged down their walls like super hardcore. Really, really just destroyed that faction. Um, am I losing units or something? No, I'm gaining units. Okay. We just have oh, about 800 once they're all healed up. I think a lot of lords though, their parties are kind of small. And we're just kind of holding them together because of our charisma. Which is actually, our charisma stat is actually getting super high. I like the fire on guards, A, because they look awesome in sieges, and B, because they're faster than the trebuchets to build. So if you're just trying to take out, like, counter the walls, these things are actually a decent investment. Um... And you kind of build them as quick as they, they build theirs. Yeah, and so we can use that to just... I mean, I'm not going to take out the walls realistically. We're not going to siege for that long. Um, and then let's get a regular Ongar getting ordered. And we'll get three of them up. I mean, maybe I should get all four at the same time. And that's going to suppress them as much as possible. Yeah, so let's do that, actually. Fire on guards for everyone. And then we'll work on um, the ram a little bit, I think. Yeah, let's, let's do the ram. And they're going to hurt us pretty bad, but we'll actually get them a decent amount too. So that's good. Um, but as soon as we lose one of those, we're going to want to get another one up. Because actually, yeah. Oh, cool. 
Nice. I think we're actually starting to take them out a little bit. And we have our ram built. Um, can I move that to reserve and get just a regular Ongar getting built? Because we're going to need to do that any second now. Yeah, so see what I mean? These things have been kind of built up and they've been like waiting for us essentially. Um, and this thing's like literally about to go. There we go. Any second it's going to happen. But you see now they've got a lot less things to hit our, our ram with. And if we get another Ongar up and running, then I think we can just kind of continue this a little bit. And um, also it's kind of nice because it slows us down. Gets us some more units with shields. Which is always good in a siege because you're going to get shot by arrows. I mean, we could probably attack right now and stand an okay chance is the thing that we also have to keep in mind. Uh, okay, they've destroyed all of my, my siege equipment. That is a royal shame. But um, they have, what, that and that right now? That's not too bad. And they're building a third thing. But I think if we take, if we get our Ongar, I think the Ongar is a little bit better than the Catapult. Get yeah, a Fire Ongar. Yeah, I just want to uh, cancel out these two. I think we can do that, given this. Uh, given one of these, but I'm also a little bit worried because they do have two of these things to our one. But I bet by the time they've actually destroyed this... Oh, actually, look how, much, how little health they have compared to the health we have. So I think, yeah, we should be able to attack, actually. Um, once we got this one destroyed, I might be willing to attack. Oh, actually, they, they actually got a very good hit on us. Sacred Majesty. Um, it's going to give the Lord a whole lot of influence. I mean, abstaining will decrease my relationship with both. A uh, hundred, yeah, so we should just basically get involved as little as possible. Kind of weird that that dude's doing that. And for the semi-divine king, I don't think that's the actual king is the thing. Oh, this is going to be a really cool place to take, actually. I just saw the, the layout there. Yeah, I think once our fire on guard gets built and takes out one, maybe two of those things... Then, um, then we can maybe attack. Also, we got more upgrades coming. Sorry, I feel like I'm so busy juggling all the micro upgrades and stuff that it's hard for me to keep good commentary. God, that is so epic. I would love, I would just love to actually like live in a castle like that and have like some sort of little thing that you can just kind of hang out at, you know. Like, how cool would it be to just go have, like, a beer on your fortress that overhangs the river with, like, a great view? Hey, could you please hit that thing? i really, really appreciate it if we could actually, you know, attack. Because our army is actually... They're doing okay. They're doing better than I thought. They've got 30-something days worth of food still. So, yeah, let's, let's just hurry things up just a little bit. Because I think... Yeah... Uh, maybe another one? Can I just get this stupid catapult? It's just so annoying. There we go, there's one of them down. And another one. We're kind of stu stuck in this, like, infernal battle. Never ending. Uh, I mean, I'm taking out their units is the nice thing, is that they are kind of getting... Um, weakened ever so slowly. It's just taking a lot longer than I thought it would. If I can take out that one, I'll, I'll attack. But it does not want to give it to me. Nope. I should have attacked earlier. Honestly, should have attacked earlier. Though, every time that we um, hurt them and take out one of those towers, if they're losing units, I don't know if we lose the same amount of units as they lose. I feel like we, we do. But maybe not. Yeah, we should have just pushed when we had um, the advantage that we had. Um, 
And if we attack with the ram and the ram gets destroyed by these catapults, that's gonna be... That's gonna be very painful. I'm gonna actually go trebuchets. We're gonna make the siege go a lot longer because this strategy is clearly not working. So, uh... We'll let that get built. And then we'll reserve like we have kind of been doing. Honestly, we could just attack on the walls, I think, at this point. That could work for us, but it it also seems like a pretty dumb thing to try and do. Okay, let's, let's just uh, speed it up a little bit. We'll go get some trebuchets built and put on reserves. Vargos is taken. I thought Vargos had been taken. I guess they've been kind of fighting back and forth a little bit while I've been sieging. Yeah, that these cat catapults, I think, are going to be what we need to actually take out this uh, reserve of things so that we can actually take this place without losing an absurd amount of people. Because the AI, they always go in so quick into these sieges. Like, irritatingly quick. Like, why would you go that quick? It's a siege, you know? So I think, yeah, we do have that as well. And we do have the trebuchet as well. I think that should be enough. Maybe it's not, but the trebuchets, they actually have quite a good amount of health. So I've got a good feeling that they should be able to um, suppress. Maybe not, though. And we do have to get some hits here. We have to get them in pretty soon, too, if we're going to not be completely outmatched, because we do have four things firing at us at a time. Come on. You can do it, trebuchets. God, I, whoever invented the trebuchet was an absolute mad lad, you know? Okay, so there's one of them down. So we've got 3v3 now. I've got a good feeling that... There we go, there's two. Two against our three. There's our three against their one. There's four against the one. And I think I... Uh, we'll get one siege tower. And we do have them outnumbered two to one, but I think having one siege tower... Seeing how we're not going to really take down the walls, and we could... Actually, that one's kind of hurt. It's actually hurt a fair amount. We could try and take down the walls. I'm not going to. We'll get the siege tower up and then we'll attack. Once it's clear as well. Like right now. Okay, perfect. This is this is a good time to attack. We've got a number advantage and they've got nothing to shoot down to stop our our gears of war. Yeah, this is this is actually perfect having a tower and a ram and some siege equipment to just fire things at the walls as well to hit them a little bit. I think I'm gonna try and support the ram. Because I can see those archers and those little windows right up there pretty well right now. Actually, a very nice angle. I'm surprised I didn't get hit there. I'm doing that little flare of the maneuver. Oh, whoa, what just... Something must have just hit. I'm I'm sorry, I missed that. Something just killed like 10 people. Like, no joke. Oh man, look at that, look at that. There's just like a couple hits there. Uh, okay, there's that one. That one I can't really see. Okay, that one's down. There's a number of these dudes, like, in these little windows. You can kind of see them a lot better during the night. There we go, that guy's down. Okay, I want to see this. Does that hit? No. Of course, when I'm, I'm looking, they miss. I think that was actually really close. There. Whoa, that came at a much different angle. That must have been the trebuchet. But look at those, like, flaming things. I really like the lighting effects. Yeah, okay, so the ram's actually out of the wall now. 
great. That's good news for us. Um, anyone on this wall that's an archer? No. I really want those arrows there on that little bucket thing. I can see someone in that little window right there. Kind of. Oop, there was another dude right there. There. Nice. Uh, is there another one? I thought I could see another one in this little window right here. Yes. <laughs> you gotta find them, right? You gotta find those little opportunities. Any... anyone home? Yes, there is. <laughs> like a player would have reacted more there, I think. I like having the third person view, that little god view, being able to see around corners, so useful. Man, imagine when we have like good um, drones and we can kind of do that, uh, like for real, like the camera over your shoulder. Oh, come on, that had to have been a hit. Okay, they, they have to be using the murder box, right? They have to be using, like, they're dropping the stones and stuff. There's so many of us in there right now. Give me my, my childish dreams of seeing that. Is the siege equipment, like, done firing? I think because we've taken the walls, they're not firing anymore. Oh, no. Nope. There's definitely siege equipment still firing. Did you see that? Yep. It hit like a good a good hit on the wall there. I wonder if there's ever friendly fire with that. Come on, we gotta get through here soon. I'm just gonna watch the siege equipment. And kinda s keep an eye out for the fire on guards and the trebuchets. Oh, did we just spawn like units in there? Pretty sure that we just spawned like a bunch of dudes in. I didn't think that we had over a thousand units in the battle, but I guess actually we do, now that I think about it. Okay, um, we're not like... I mean, that wall is just about done. Yeah, you can see how much longer it takes that with the walls actually intact. It's kind of cool that we got, um, in the one episode, we are getting into two sieges, or er, two distinctly different ones due to the different ways that they were set up. Yeah, so we're in the courtyard fighting these dudes. I mean, this is where the AI gets not very good. They're gonna, yeah, they're gonna run away even there's nowhere for them to run to. Yeah, I'm gonna just kind of take a step back. We got them surrounded. Those dudes I'm not going to be able to get though, I don't think. Actually, I should have been, I should have been shooting at them. There we go. Yeah, you shouldn't be getting away. Not if I can help it. Oh man, we haven't really got a good line of sight though. Okay. Well, there we go. I'm just going to take a second. I know that we're past our half an hour mark that I usually like to end at. But I just kind of want to see... Um the walls and see where the tower got to. Which side was the tower on? I think it was the right, but it could have been, could have been the other side. I'm sure we'll be able to tell with the bodies. I think siege equipment may have hit there, judging by the amount of dead. Um, this looks to me like they're all arrows. They've killed these guys and there's not really too many of my people. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. We must have just had some friendly fire there with some siege equipment. Did you see that? Like 20 people. I swear, like 20 people just died of ours. Just straight up, like, just got domed. Do not fire the trebuchet when there's two dudes. Come on. That must have been what happened, right? Someone must have been trying to hit them as they fleed. I love that little obelisk building thing. Um, I did not see the river, though. Nor the little tower thing that comes off of it. That I was lied to. I think I was lied to in the layout. 
Man, is this, like, for real? Could I run all the way around this city wall? Like, if I really wanted to, how much of this is an actual map? You want to find out? Stick with me if you want to find out. I'm going to run over to the other side of the battle. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, that this must be where we came in because there's so many of them on the walls. Oh god, they're doing it. They're doing it. Yeah, there's there's the tower right there. Oh god. Yeah, there's uh there's a good amount of people who died here. Not too many of ours died down there though. That's that's good. See, that's why you want units with shields. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through here. I did want to just kind of see just how far the map goes, so just bear with me just for a little bit. It's probably only got to be a minute, but it could be longer. Let's get away from the troops, they're loud, huh? I mean, they're still actually pretty loud, even though we're far away from them. And if I run up here, is there ways to actually get up onto the walls over here? Or was that the last opportunity? I think that this was the last opportunity to get up the wall. And it might actually just go that way. If I was the map developers, I would make this like the cap of where you can go to the side. Because I bet what they've done. We'll see soon enough. It's time for some uh, investigative work. I almost said science. I'm like, this isn't science. This is like investigative journalism, you know? Oh, hello. See ya. See you guys. No, it's actually totally open. Okay. Well, I guess the adventure continues. We'll see how long this, uh, we can go down this rabbit hole. Oh yeah, it looks like it's it's just to there, and then they do put an invisible door on you. But hacks, right? They cannot contain me. I am unstoppable. It seems to actually work pretty well. I mean, there's definitely some weird stuff going on with textures on the side there of the map. I think that must be the edge of the map. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> they did not expect me to see that part of the map. To be fair, oh yeah, here we go. And then I give you the warning that they're cutting off the map. Okay, that's fair. That's that's more than fair. That's an excellently sized map, though. It looks like it goes essentially to the keep in the center of town. God, look at that. 70 upgraded troops. That is awesome. That is so cool. And I'll take all the loot gladly. Look at that. Look at that. And our city falls. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with this main quest. I am, I'm a little bit worried about that. I might just go to the hideout that was told, I was told to go to earlier and see what's going on there. But I'm pretty sure that we've, we've gone in orc to the save, as some might say. Okay, yeah. Alright, I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.